and Chris for giving me this opportunity uh, to speak. Uh, you know, I surely would like to have been there and be present at this uh, great function that we're having for Joe. Uh, I'd like to go back in time when I first got this uh, phone call from Joe asking me if I was interested in, in coaching in Brownsville, Texas. And uh, I'd just gotten out of college and, and uh, you know, I had several offers and, you know, I get this call from Joe and then asking me that, if I wanted to come up and, you know, we kind of <clears throat> passed it over the phone and I kind of made a commitment. And then I went back and, uh, and I looked in, uh, in, uh, uh, looked in the map and, wow, man, it's a long ways from here. And, you know, what I'm trying to get at is, is, is I look back and, and, you know, I'm glad Joe made this phone call. Uh, uh, you know, for some reason, uh, <clears throat> it was, it was kind of connected and, and I've been here ever since. And uh, that was 41 years ago. And uh, I just want to thank Joe for, for everything he's done for me. Uh, you know, I've been in, in, in uh, uh, his footsteps, uh, following his footsteps. He, he's led me in the right direction. We, we, we uh, started off coaching in 1969. Uh, I was a defensive coordinator, brought me in. We hit it off in our coaching. And very good coach. Uh, uh, learned a lot at that point, uh, coaching high school football. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, he's... he's brought me a long ways and, and, and we became very good friends, very good friends. His family took me in. I didn't have any family here in, in Brownsville and, and his family uh, took me in and and uh, we just about became like brothers, you know, even though we didn't come from the same mamas. But, and I just want to say, uh, uh, you know, just say one thing about uh, about Joe, man, his best interest and no matter what anybody says, his best interest were the, were the kids. And uh, uh, you can go back and, and, and look at what he's done. And, and I know there's going to be a lot of things mentioned there uh, today with uh, uh, Mr. Hinojosa. And, and I know Charlie Vaughn's there. And a lot of the coaches are there. That we, Well, a few coaches that are there. Some are deceased right now, bless their hearts. I'm just glad to be his friend, his partner, his uh, sidekick. And I'm glad to, to, to be in uh, part of, the, of everything he's been a part of. And... And we've done a lot of things throughout the years, man. I mean, I don't want to mention everything, but maybe at some point when he writes his book, uh, I Did It My Way, uh, then some of these things will be in there. Uh, but uh, uh, just to, in closing, um, I'll be thinking about them. I'll be thinking about you guys, everybody over there. Uh, come uh, this day, uh, 6 o'clock, uh, wherever I'm at, 
and um, I'll drink have I'll, I'll uh, surely have a beer on him in his honor at that point and uh, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, I'll be back in a few days and and uh, we'll continue from there thank you very much and enjoy the party and and Joe I love you man thank you bye Hi, Joe Rodriguez Merry Christmas uh, Ann and I have been thinking about you lately and we've been wondering how you're doing and, and uh, we did get a, a message from your daughter about uh, the fact that you have recently retired from 30 some, 30 some odd years of uh, being in athletics at Brownsville High. I, don't, I cannot think of any better thing a man could do than to be in charge of all those young people and, and actually coach them and guide them uh, through high school and on, on to their adulthood, and I'm sure you have changed the lives of many people. And I just want to be one of the one of the people that congratulates you uh, on a, a job well done. Hi, Joe. It's Tom Rafferty here. You can tell that by looking at the screen. Hey, I want to congratulate you on the honor you're receiving tonight. Uh, working with you over the last 17 years, I know nobody has worked more tirelessly than you for the kids of BISD. Uh, I value our friendship, and I just know one thing, you're the best. Congratulations. Hello, everybody. I'm Roberto Garza of the Chicago Bears, Rio Hondo native, um, somebody who uh, has definitely had an impact in my life, uh, in my career. Uh, Coach Joe, thank you very much for all your help. Uh, I'm not... I'm one of many kids that you've helped um, guide in, in your entire career, and uh, you've done a great service to all the Valley kids, and uh, I thank you for what you've done, not only for them, but for me as well. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy your retirement and uh, look forward to golfing with you this year. Hey, Coach Joe, how are you doing? I'm sorry I'm going to miss your, your celebration tonight with all your friends, your family in Brownsville. I'm with my family for Christmas. I'm, I wish I could be there, but I can't make it. But I wanted to send you this video. I remember meeting you back in the early 80s, or late 80s, actually, early 90s, at a convention, athletic director's convention. And since then, we've had a lot of fun together. We're a lot alike, and we both like sports. We both like playing sports back in our day, and we both had a lot of success playing sports. You were an awesome athletic director for many years, and you're an awesome father, awesome husband, and you've raised one of the best families I've ever met. And I want to thank you for taking me in a long time ago and letting me stay at your house. And since then, we've traveled together, been to a lot of sporting events. We've been to a lot of different things together, and you stayed at my house, I've stayed at yours. And we've been to Super Bowls together, and I'm sure we're going to do that a lot more. We're going to go to a lot more football games, baseball games, basketball games, whatever it is. But I just want to thank you again for everything you've done for me. You took me in. To me, you're like a father to me and down in Texas. And uh, I know everybody calls you the Godfather, but I'm, I'm going to call you my father. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. And hopefully we'll have a lot more, more fun together. And I just hope you have a great celebration tonight. And next time I see you, we're going to celebrate. Thanks a lot, Coach. Bye. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Michael Vega of the Boston Globe uh, sending you uh, greetings and salutations from Boston. And uh, we uh, wanted to uh, recognize Coach Joe as well. And uh, we've heard about his exploits all the way up here in Boston. They've certainly resonated from Brownsville, Texas to Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, we wanted to give some people here a chance to uh, send along their well wishes. Hi, hey, Coach Joe. This is Terry Francona, manager of the Boston Red Sox, and just wanted to tell you uh, congratulations on 45 years of uh, not only on the football field, but the basketball court and the baseball field. I thought baseball was tough enough by itself, but way to go. I know you got some congratulations from some other neat people. I just wanted to throw in my two cents, tell you Merry Christmas, and uh, congratulations on your 45 years. Hey, Coach Joe, this is Doc Rivers. Just want to congratulate you, or, or maybe give you a hug. Uh, 45 years coaching. One sport would be enough to give you a hug, but the fact that you're doing it in football, baseball, and basketball, uh, God bless you. You are a, a, a hero to all of us. Keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations. Um, good luck. Uh, this is Coach Belichick congratulating Coach Joe on uh, 45 years of dedicated service, and uh, congratulations on a great coaching career.